What's up, guy and girl players of World of Warcraft? This is Rutaro, aka Taro, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make gold as a lobby by playing the auction house. For more free profession leveling gold and wild guides, check out my website at tarowildguides.com. In this video, I'll be detailing how I took a low level from zero gold to, well, a pretty nice amount in just a week by spending an average of 45 minutes a day. I'll focus purely on playing the auction house. As a warning, I suggest anyone trying this take caution and have a vast knowledge of what your server's economy is like and the different markets. First, you'll need to get an auction house add-on. I'll be using Auctioneer and post a link on my website for it. My website also has a general overview of the add-on that you should watch before doing this. You'll also need some easy starting gold. Watch my Lobby Gold Making Guide to get some tips. Day 1 Alright, it's day 1 so let's get started. I'll be starting out with 74 gold that I got in 30 minutes in my Lobby Gold Making Guide. The first thing I like to do is scan the auction house. Next, I'll check some items that I already know have been profitable lately. I found some copper ore for cheap and made it into copper bars for resale. That'll get me started for day one, but I want to see if I can find any more items without individually searching for each one. My goal is quite simple, find underpriced items to sell for more. Auctioneer is great for this since it has a nice search system that can have its criteria set. For instance, to make finding items easier, I'll go down to resale and set the search criteria to have a minimum profit of 1 gold, a minimum discount of 50%, and uncheck the allow bids box. Typically I leave the allow bids box checked, but I want to immediately buy and resell items so this will narrow down my search. I only have 7 gold so I'll also set the maximum price to 7 gold. No use finding items you can't buy. After getting the search results back, I found some items to sell that should sell for more. If you notice, I mostly have enchanting materials. They are great to start on since they cost nothing to list on the auction house. Day 2. Most everything sold and it looks like we've doubled our money. Just like day 1, I'll start by checking some conversion items that have been doing well like copper ore to copper bars. No go on that, so I'll check some other conversion items like crystallized to eternal. Looks like crystallized air to eternal air is pretty profitable, so I'll buy some. Earth looks good too, so I'll grab some of those as well. The next thing I'll search for is low twink items by typing in level 19 to 19 in the search box. Lucky for me, I found a century cloak for 57 gold, which used to be a very hot twink cloak. I'll buy it up for resale along with some other items and do a quick search for level 29 items. Blizzard supposedly broke twinks and did make getting items for them much easier through random dungeon awards. Even so, plenty of buyers still exist, but be cautious and only buy what you know will sell for more. I'll finish up the day by listing the Eternals, Lobby items, and the Twink Century Cloak. Day 3 Okay, it's day 3 and a lot of items sold, so let's see what we got. Looks like the Century Cloak sold and combined with other sold items netted 240 gold. I still have a lot of items on the auction house, so not bad at all. I'll do the same as yesterday and search for crystallized items to convert to Eternals. Some Twink and Lobby items, as well as some other hot selling items like Frost Lotus. The key to making gold by playing the auction house is getting rid of what you buy quickly. Try not to hold on to anything unless there is a good reason like a new patch is coming and the items will increase exponentially. If you don't have gold to buy items when things are cheap, you'll lose out. So I found some Frost Lotus for decently cheap and since there is hardly any competition, this is the perfect time to turn a decent profit. Day 4 So it's day 4 and I figured I'd go crazy and bid on tons of items using Auctioneer's resale search. I'm pretty much looking for anything that is dirt cheap to resell for more. You should be careful doing this though as some items are completely retarded and will show an insane profit even though you'd never be able to get it. Once again, know the market and your server's economy. If you do screw up, don't worry too much as every loss is a lesson learned that will help prevent making the same mistake. Plus who cares, it's just play money in a video game. Day 5 Nothing too special on day 5, I used the same techniques as yesterday and reposted any unsold items and items won on bid. Day 6 I logged in Tuesday early morning just before servers were going down for maintenance. 
I was doing my normal search routine and was able to find a once very popular twink staff, Twisted Chanther staff. The bid was 71 silver and with a listing time of less than 12 hours left. After maintenance, I logged in to find I won the item and flipped it for a net profit of 123 gold. Maintenance can be the biggest chance for winning items for cheap as hell with a bid. Players can't cancel the item and it's stuck at whatever price they set it at until the servers come back online. This is why I strongly suggest watching what bid you set for an item. I was gonna message them and give them some gold, but Auctioneer didn't register their name for some reason, so oh well. Day 7 It's day 7 and the last day I'll be listing or buying items. I once again do a typical search for copper ore, enchanting materials, eternals, twink items, and any other frequently bought items. Since my cash flow is much higher, I stay away from lobby items and anything that won't make more than a few gold profit per item. Collection Day Alright, it's collection day and I was really psyched to see what the week's earnings would be. I still had about 400 gold worth of items on the auction house, but the week is up so it's time to collect everything from my mailbox. I still even had a century cloak which netted 190 gold a few days later. But anyway, let's see what I got. Wow, nice! 1719 gold. Not too bad for a week of playing the auction house for an average of 45 minutes a day from zero gold. Items that really stuck out were some proto hide leggings I found for 150 gold and sold for 500 gold, some frost lotus, copper bars, eternals, century cloak, twisted chanter staff, random gems, and glyph books. I'll list a lot more details on my website at tarlwowguides.com. On a final note, there are tons and tons more items and techniques that can be focused on, so try the ones you have the most knowledge of. This is really something you can do at level 5 or level 80. Just take the basic concepts you've learned in the video and apply them to a bigger scale. Playing the auction house can be similar to gambling if you don't do any research and blindly trust add-ons. Focus on a market you know and if you end up losing gold, brush it off and learn from the experience. Hell, gold is just some pixels on your computer screen in a video game. So turn on CNBC, blare some music, and play the auction house for fun. Well that's it for this playing the auction house as a low B guide and I hope you liked it. Please subscribe today and visit tarawowguides.com for more free wow guides. Thanks for watching. Now go tell me any funny or dumb story you have about the auction house.